controller that's going to cause the power to come in from the wall into this whole situation, the electricity. All right, when, the, when he turns the power on, it's going to light this light bulb at a certain intensity. See, it's not all that real bright, but he's lighting the light bulb up with whatever power we need right now. Now what he's going to do, over here there's an amp meter. You notice right on the power controller there's a voltmeter, and on the amp meter we're getting what? 0.62, that's the amount of amps that we're getting. Drawing 0.62 amps. Now, over here is the wave generator. Magnetic wave generator. Magnetic wave generator. And the magnetic wave generator is not really on now. And what he's going to do is, when he pushes a little switch over here, then the magnetic wave generator is getting excited. When the magnetic wave generator gets excited, you'll notice the light bulb will burn really bright. This is a 100 watt light bulb. It'll burn really, really bright. Now, what's happening is we're set up so that all the back EMF from this magnetic wave generator, like when you have a cycle, you get a spike. That spike is back EMF. Funny thing is, like you said, they've been trying to get rid of that spike for a long time. <laughs> Pretty hilarious, isn't it? Anyway, so that spike back there, you get that spike every cycle. And so what he's doing is he's capturing all the energy from the spike as all of the atoms in this uh, iron collapse, the electrons collapse in it as you're taking off the energy on and off. That's what a cycle is. As you're taking off the energy, it's collapsing and all that back EMF is being captured.